how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Sippin' and Sewin' Hawaii 2.0. I'm Melly. Nice to see you again. Um, today we have, still keeping it with the Sam Adams, actually got a whole array of uh, different style beers, so, of Sam Adams. So, they're all pretty easy drinking, I think. Um, the next one I saw that was really easy drinking, as we do really easy sewing projects, going to be the Fresh as Hell's. Orange Blossom Hell's Lager. So Hell's Lagers, if you know, come from Munich, Germany. That's where the style usually comes from. It's uh, more of a golden lager. So again, not going to be as um, maybe uh, like I use the word skunky as like a Heineken or a Stella. Maybe not as light, crisp as those ones. It's going to be maybe a little bit more malty. Not as malty as the Vienna lager, but a little bit more like golden um, color, flavor. But this has orange blossoms. So the orange blossoms, um, yeah, I'm guessing they added those later in the process since it's orange blossom. They could have added to the mash, but I'm not really sure. We'll see when we get the flavor of it, if it's like a dry hop add addition blossom to it, or if it's, you know, put into the, um, early into the fermentation. So yeah, once again, don't forget your nifty, snifty bottle opener. <music> looks like a really nice color. I like that. It's a little more golden than obviously like a Pilsner lager or a general um, run-of-the-mill lager. Um, it's gonna be a little tiny bit more golden hue to it. Um, does have a not a huge amount of head um, but does have a little bit of a head to it, right? You can smell a bit of the orange. A little citrusy. Alright, it's pretty okay tasting. It's pretty alright tasting. Um, a lot of orange peel on the nose. Kind of a lingery taste of malty, malty citrus, I guess. Um, yeah, it's has a little bit of flavor, so that's good. It's a little bit more hoppy than uh, the original Boston Lager. Um, Mouthfeel, it's pretty good. Not as uh, carbonated as you can see. There's some bubbles in there, but not super carbonated. Um, but it is a lager, so it is gonna be you know more carbonated usually than the ale. Again, the same thing, cold fermented, bottom fermented. Uh, yeast, the yeast is going to be the colder lager yeast. Not a lot of hops in there. Okay, so now we have our beer in going. Um, today we're going to be working on fixing a belt loop. If you had a sewing machine, this would be super easy fix. Um, but since we don't have a sewing machine yet out here in Hawaii, and probably most of you don't have sewing machines, we're going to do this really easy fix. So let's learn how to sew a belt loop back on. Okay, let's have a little beer before we start. I prefer the Sam Adams Boston Lager, but this one's okay. It's all right. Meh, after orange, after taste orange. Okay, so now first thing you want to do is if you can see here, there's like some extra thread. You want to go ahead and pull that out. Use some scissors to cut the thread if you need. Be careful not to poke yourself in the face like I almost did. Drinking and sewing is a hazard. Be careful. Here we are. So that looks good. Right, nice and even. So you can see there's going to be a fold in it. So that fold, you want to fold it back down. See that? That's where you're going to want to sew. So you get the pants, fold this down here. 
and you're going to want to sew it. You're going to want to sew that under, that little under. So if you need to make it a little bit bigger, you can. Hold a little more. But let's prepare our needle. So if you don't have black thread, I would suggest just getting some. It's easy to use for anything you're working on. So remember, pull it out arm's length and then um, push one end of the thread through the needle. Then you're going to pull it all the way through. Um, and then grab your needle on one side, twist it around a few times the opposite way as you remember, pull it all the way down, pinch it on the end, and you get your thread knot at the bottom. Let's do some more beer. Okay, so inside the pant, you want to go to the very top here. Usually there's some little bits of thread left. You can see where it used to be sewn. So from the other side, inside, put it through to approximately where that, approximately where that thread is. So make sure you want to get to where the belt loop is going to be going. So poke it in right there. Pull it all the way through. Your knot's going to hold it on the back side. Then remember this part. So, easy way to start, just pull it from the top here, okay? So all the way through. Now, if you can, see it's kind of there. You want to sew, if you can see it, see how it turns like that? You want to sew down that little part, okay? So, just poke your needle right back through and down to the back side of the pant. So you can see it's already starting to hold. So do that a few more times. Make sure that your needle just goes through that little tiny um, turned edge. Don't go all the way through the bell loop. Watch. It's not going through the top of the bell loop, just that bottom side that's turned. Okay? Go ahead and do this a few times, making sure you're putting the needle through that back side um, of the bell loop and the back side of the pant. Do it as many times as you can so you get almost like a line. You don't want any wings showing from the edges, so you want to make sure you sew down the edges, both sides of the edges as well, on the inside of the belt loop. You can see I'm not going through. It's going through the underneath part of the belt loop. The top part is still loose. Go back and forth as many times as you need, making sure that the belt loop is secure um, and making sure to not sew down the top of the belt loop, um, just catching it on the bottom, on that bottom curve but as many times as you need. Just keep going until it feels tight. Now, as you can see, pretty much sewn back in. Like, that was super easy. Drink some more beer. Mm, not my favorite beer in the world, but So a little fruity. It's just a little bit sweet and orangey. I guess it's the blossom part, right? Because the flower is sweet. I don't know. Anyway, at this point the beer is hitting me. Loco. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the bottom secure, it's just basically you're going to do the same thing, but now you are going to go through the entire belt loop just a couple times. 
So you're going to push in from behind the pants. Push this down. Stay on the very top though because you want your belt still to be able to fit through. So, see that? Sometimes you need a thimble. This is where a thimble comes in to push through. You really don't need to be precise. You just push the needle through um, and make like a little line on the very top of the top of the belt loop. Um, and especially if you have jeans or any coarse fabric or black fabric, you're really not going to be able to see it. So don't worry about being precise. Just get it through and make sure it's on the very top so you have space for your belts. Just going to see if you can see this. This is kind of at the end of the loop. And I'm just going to pull that right around here. So it's going to end up going on the outside of the loop just to close it up. Careful, array beer bottles. <laughs> this drinking and sewing is not for everyone, kids. All right. So, pull it all the way through to the back side again. Remember, that's where you want your knots to start, and that's where you want your knots to finish on the back side so nobody sees it. Luckily, it's black. But you can see, like, it doesn't have to be amazing looking, especially when it's on the back. And then the front, if you can see that as well. It's easy, right? So we sewed underneath first. We sewed that bottom part down first. And then a couple stitches right here on the top. Really easy. Now we do the same thing with the knot, right? So you're gonna go through where your little bit of the fabric and the thread, pull it. I like to hook this with my finger. Make sure that the thread's even. Hook it with the needle. Go all the way through, one knot. We go right back underneath that same knot in the fabric. Slowly, have a little bit of patience because otherwise sometimes the thread gets knotted before the bottom of the knot. Two times at least. Let's just do one more for comfort. Since it is a little bit of a heavier, more, these pants get used a lot, so let's make sure that they work. Now you take it, cut it right by the knot. Keep this here for now. And voila! Fixed. Good as new. Bum -ba -na 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 -na. Finish your beer. Hmm. Not best for chugging. Interesting logger. Interesting logger. Not necessarily what I think of as a house logger, but. Not too bad. And not too bad. Good luck, kids. See you next time.